Hey everyone, welcome to ISTQB exam question and answer series. And in this video, I'm going to cover another five exam questions from the second sample exam set. And I'll explain those five questions in detail so you are able to clearly understand how you are going to tackle the exam questions for ISTQB foundation exam. So question number one of the second set says, which of the following is an example of why testing is necessary? Okay, so which, which of the following out of four, you have to select one option, why testing is necessary. So let's go to these points one by one and eliminate the ones that we know that they are incorrect and then conclude the right answer. So the first point says dynamic testing increases quality by causing test objects to fail in ways that could never be achieved by users. Absolutely incorrect, right? So dynamic testing increases quality by causing test objects to fail in ways that could never be achieved by users that in that is incorrect statement why because error or failures can be caused can be achieved by users as soon as that particular condition is met okay or error condition is met so this is incorrect right so dynamic testing doesn't include uh, doesn't increase the quality by causing the test objects to fail in the ways that user cannot achieve it right and user can also get those failures static testing is used by developers to identify failures in their program earlier than can be achieved through dynamic testing. This is not only specific to developers. Static testing is not only specific to developers to find failures in the program code. Okay, this is applicable to all the other artifacts as well. So this is also incorrect. Now, what you have to do is you have to find the absolute correct statement there. So there are contradictory. If you see that there are contradictions wherein they have mentioned by developers to check their program, that's incorrect, right? Because static testing is has a broader context and concept. So this we can eliminate that as well. The option C says static analysis provides evidence to customers that the elements of the system that provide no inputs are fit for release. Okay, so here says static analysis provides evidence to customers that the elements of the system that provide no inputs are fit for release. Absolutely baseless statement, right? Now we go to the last one. Reviews increase the quality of requirements, specifications and lend to fewer changes being needed in derived work products. Okay, so here if we go and analyze this statement in detail. So reviews increase the quality of requirement specification. Absolutely correct. Reviews help us to increase the quality of requirement specification and lead to fewer changes being needed in derived work products. So the full statement makes absolute sense and that's why this is the correct answer that reviews increase the quality of requirement specification and lead to fewer changes being needed in derived work product because when you do reviews of say for example any requirement then you figure out the gaps in those requirement upfront if you figure out the gaps in the requirement upfront then those are identified and fixed in the requirement specification itself before they are handed over to the other team for example developers to code those requirements now if the requirement itself is has is having gaps there are inconsistencies same thing will be coded by developer right so if you do reviews properly for the requirement specification that will lead to fewer changes being needed in the derived work product so absolutely correct answer now moving to the second question which of the following statements about quality assurance and or quality control is correct okay so QA or and QC QA or QC QA and QC is correct let's see what exactly they are asking only one option we have to select QA is performed as part of testing testing is performed as part of quality control testing is another term for QC testing is performed as part of QA so C is absolutely incorrect testing is not another term for QC okay so testing QC QC QA all have a different uh, uh, a specific, a different uh, explanation and different area of coverage I would say in in the projects so this is absolutely incorrect we have marked that as incorrect okay now QA is performed as part of testing that means what they are saying is testing is a higher set and then QA is a subset okay that's incorrect okay this statement is not correct so A is also incorrect now testing is performed as part of the QC this is the correct statement B is the correct statement why because you have QA QC and then testing is actually you can say a subset of QC okay quality control so B is the correct answer testing is performed as part of the QC and testing is performed as part of the QA is also incorrect 
all right so when we say quality control quality control as part of the quality control testing is done okay so testing is part of the quality control and quality assurance is a more broader scope okay so you have this qa then qc and as part of the qc testing is done right so b is the correct answer for this particular question so now moving to the third question one of the principles of testing states that exhaustive testing is impossible okay one of the principle of testing is exhaustive testing is impossible which of the following is an example of addressing this principle in practice okay so make a note which of the following in this example in these four options addresses this principle that you cannot do exhaustive testing it is not possible okay so let's go through these options and eliminate the ones that are incorrect so first one says creating test cases that cover every possible specified output absolutely incorrect right this this is contradictory to exhaustive testing is impossible so which of the following is an example of addressing this principle in practice is what we have to figure out if you are creating test cases that cover every possible specified output you are actually contradicting the exhaustive testing is impossible principle and you won't be able to achieve that right documenting all possible test input variations and prioritizing these based on importance okay again you are documenting all possible test input variations that is against or against the principle exhaustive testing is impossible because even for simplest form and field which accepts just few values you won't be able to do all the exhaustive testing if there are multiple and 10 different fields you can imagine how many combinations you will end up okay even if you are using automation tools it is very difficult to achieve all the possible combinations that's why exhaustive testing is not possible starting testing as early as possible with reviews and other testing uh, other static testing approaches that is not the exhaustive testing is impossible principle okay so we can cut that and now we are just left with one option which is d so using equivalence partitioning and boundary value analysis to generate test cases right so this is basically what will address this principle that exhaustive testing is impossible so you do not go ahead and figure try to figure out all possible test input variations and every output specified output variations but better use equivalence partitioning and boundary value analysis techniques to generate the test cases to address this particular principle so d is the correct option for question number three now moving to question number four which test activity involves working with test data requirements test conditions test environment requirements and test cases now we have to go through these four test activities and then figure out which one involves working with any of these uh, working with all of these test data requirement conditions test environment requirements test cases right so if we go ahead and see all the options straight away we can figure out here yeah, this is more of a test design activity right because in the test design activity you work with test data requirement test conditions test environment requirement and test cases right during test execution no you do not no, exactly work with all of these you when you are designing you work with all of these and during execution you use all of these right during analysis no during implementation no so during designing you work with all of these data requirement test conditions test environment requirement and test cases in the design phase to come up with the proper test cases and scenarios with exact data requirement test environment requirement everything okay so that's question number four now moving to the last question of this particular video which of the following is most likely to impact how testing is performed for a given test object okay now here we have to figure out which of the following is most likely to impact how testing is performed for a given test object now let's go through these four options and we have to select one and see which one is going to impact most likely to impact how testing will be performed so if we go ahead with the first one the average level of experience of the organization's marketing team no absolutely baseless marketing team right why would that impact okay the knowledge of users that a new system is being developed for them so knowledge of users why would that knowledge of end users will impact 
the uh, the testing that you are going to perform how testing your how the testing should be performed right so that is also absolutely baseless the number of years of years experience of the members of the test team yes this is absolutely makes sense because this is most likely to impact how testing is performed for a given test object because if the years of experience uh, and team is experienced they'll be it will be a bit easier for the team to go ahead and do testing so we'll just make a note of this this is this looks very close and it is a correct answer but we'll still go ahead and eliminate the last one the end users organizational structure for a commercial music streaming application absolutely baseless right so you can easily conclude that c is the correct answer for this particular question the number of years experience of the members of the test team which is absolutely correct answer how the testing it will impact how the testing will be performed if you have a fresher fresh team absolutely new to everything they will take more time they'll be requiring more understanding of the application how they are going to perform the testing right so that's the correct answer so that's all for uh, this particular video we have covered five exam questions with explanations in the next video i'll cover another five exam questions for istqb foundation exam i hope this was helpful thank you see you in the next one